We all want our websites to look beautiful and part of that is creating images that will go on our websites that look beautiful. You use this a lot with blog posts, right? You want to have a featured image for your blog posts and sometimes you want images inside of that blog post as well. In this video, it's going to be a special treat. I'm going to answer a question I get asked a lot in its how I make my YouTube thumbnails, but I also use my YouTube thumbnails as my blog post featured images. So if you're watching this video, I'm gonna show you all different price points from free to a professional designer, how to make awesome graphics or get awesome graphics for your website. And I'm also going to show you the evolution of what I've been doing for the past four years. So it should be a fun one. Now videos like this that can make your blog stand out, be more beautiful, matter to you. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe and notification bell right now because I have tons of content regularly just for you. Now it's important to note and I want to do this right before I get into it that you absolutely when you're putting images on your website need some kind of tool to compress the image down so it won't take slow down your website and it won't take forever to load. So if you go and grab an image off of one of the places I'm going to show you today, uh, it's not optimized for your website. So you're going to want to use an image optimization plugin. I like short pixel. It's what I use. There's a free version of short pixel that you can go and start using and it will compress down a hundred images per month. Now for a limited time though, you can buy a lifetime account that will allow you to compress 17,000 images per month and you can use it on as many websites as you want as long as the total doesn't go over that 17,000 and you can get a deal just go to wpcrafter.com slash short pixel right now and I'll have links down below to anything I talk about in this video you can get a lifetime account right now for $39 it even takes it in a step further by making different versions of it for different devices that might visit your website so whatever solution you use you're gonna need something like this uh, you could use the free version or if you have multiple websites you might want to look into getting this paid version but it's only 39 bucks it's pretty fabulous okay so here's my youtube channel we're going to go through the evolution here i could show you on my website but it's probably better to show you right here so some of you that have been around for a long time will recognize these thumbnail images right here and there wasn't much to it it was a great background it was me i had this kind of green thing that tried to look kind of like a a sign for a street address and i would swap out a product logo or some text and it was not pretty at all the way I did that is I used the presentation software that I had on my computer so I use a Mac so it comes with keynote for free and this is for creating presentations but if you're on a PC you probably also already have PowerPoint so you could create a slide that's the dimensions that you set and you can have full control over text and images and all that kind of stuff it got me pretty far though and then if you wanted to have a image in the background you I would go to Pexels P-E-X-E-L-S Pexels and Pexels is free stock photography so if I wanted to take one of these images and then drag, drag and drop that into my presentation software and then some put some text on top of it I was all good to go. That's all that I needed to do is obviously some steps, right? But this was a no budget, low budget, actually no budget way of getting things done. And that's what I was doing right here. And then you see my images and the designs changed. They were a little bit more designed. They had some angles, some things going on. And so what happened is I started using a tool. Now, I was first looking at Canva, which is free. And the only reason, uh, Canva is an online graphic editing tool. Now, the only reason I didn't use Canva is because they, they kind of nickel and dime you to death. But it's worse. When you have to buy something in Canva, it's not a nickel or a dime, it's a dollar. And it's a dollar here and a dollar there. Next thing you know, whatever you really want to do starts costing money. So here is an image. You could see these lines going in the background. That's because I'd have 
have to pay money to get rid of those. And some of these other ones, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one, there's another one. All of these designs, if I wanted to use it, would cost me money to remove those lines. And so that's why my life with Canva did not go that far. And then I started using Stencil. Now Stencil is really interesting and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Now Stencil also has a really good deal right now. If you visit wpcrafter.com slash Stencil, it's gonna take you here. And this is actually the deal I bought two years ago for Stencil. And a lot of people on this channel might already own Stencil, but I'm gonna show you some new things that it does to speed up your workflow. So here's Stencil. You can now buy a lifetime account for $49 and you don't get nickeled and dimed. As a matter of fact, it's a lifetime account. You don't have to pay anything else for this one-time fee of $49. Now what this includes, and it's just, it's just to speed up your workflow and have things take less time. So it includes 2.2 million photos. These are photos you don't have to pay for. So when I was showing you Canva, I was paying for those photos. Uh, they give you some photos, but then the ones you really want, they're not for free. You're paying for And then there's 200 icons and graphics. 750 templates, Google fonts, all kinds of cool stuff that you could do with it. So this is a good deal. This is a an easy win. It was 49 bucks. And so I bought this. It might have been 39 when I bought it. And you can see right here, here's my stencil account. So here's a list of all the photos. There's 2.2 million. They're all free to use. Here's icons, 2 million of those. Templates, 750 of those. Quotes, I never used quotes, but you can make all kinds of social media graphics. But check this out, you can upload your own images, which you see here, I was uploading my own images. And then right here is your saved images. So you could save images that you create, and you could see a lot of these were that style. So if we look back, you see that style of image, not that particular one. Some of these I've gone back and updated, uh, but you can see a lot of these were that style of uh, graphics. So now let me show you though something really cool that they added. Uh, where is it? So they all kind of had that same style. There was maybe just a different color here or there. Uh, and you can see all those templates right here. I would just uh, click on one right here. It would render it out and I would change the text. I would resize the text. I would move it around. I would layer it. It was actually pretty easy. And I was doing this silly thing with their emoji library. It was fine. Uh, now, here's a cool thing they added in the last year. They added a WordPress plugin. So check this out. Here I am on a website where I've added their WordPress plugin. Say I need to make a featured image. So I click right here where it says set featured image and it pops this up, right? Like you're no normally used to seeing. But when you have the plugin installed, there's a new tab here that says stencil. So I go to stencil. And here I am, I could actually create my image right here and then check this out. There's an option here that says add to media library. So you don't even have to go to Stencil's website. Stencil's website and image building tool can get pulled into your WordPress website. It doesn't slow it down at all. It's just a convenience feature, less, less steps. So if I needed to make a featured image, I would go here, I'd click on templates, I would find one that fits, maybe this is gonna be my featured image, I would click on it, and then I could go here and start changing the text, bam, I have a beautiful featured image for my blog, and it literally takes a minute or two. Now this is actually really good if you outsource, because you could just get your outsourced uh, blog, article writer or someone to come in here and do this as well and have access to this image editing tool right from within WordPress. I think it's very cool that they did this. So I was using Stencil for a long time and uh, it was only, you know, that one time fee and I still have my account, but then I decided that I needed to level up. Okay, so now you can see everything's a whole heck of a lot more designed. Not everything, but a lot of 
these thumbnails are a lot more designed. You could definitely see it right here. So what I did was I thought, you know, I want to have more professional graphics. So I started using Design Pickle. And you could go here, wpcrafter.com slash design pickle. I should see if I could get like a coupon from them. Uh, and I signed up for their services for six months at the time. Design Pickle is a design service where you pay a flat monthly fee. You get a designer assigned to you and they have a whole platform. You go in, you put your design requests in and they see those and then they make whatever you create. Now they can create a whole heck of a lot more than blog images. They can create infographics, social media posts. They can create t-shirt designs. They can do all kinds of stuff. They won't do logos. So anything that requires a lot of intense thought and intentionality, they don't touch. It's really those types of graphics that are more print design that they don't require a lot of thought. And so uh, you can see that here. And I think at one point they actually had my logo on their website. Uh, maybe it was uh, on a different location or some kind of promotional material. But let's take a look at the cost of Design Pickle. Now, when I was using them, it was a little less expensive. It was $379 and their prices have gone up to $399 per month. But you get a dedicated designer. You're not dealing with a different designer every time. And they will do two tasks for you pretty much per day. And they're really good at what they do. Now, the benefit of using a tool like this is that they manage them for you. So you don't have to worry about hiring and firing and managing and anything like that. You just come, you pay the money, they take care of it for you. They do have a 14 day trial, so you could actually test it out and whatever they design you get to keep. They have this other plan. I was not on this. It's a thousand bucks a month. And uh, uh, they work during your hours, same day turnaround time. The standard plan, just you know, they're, you're working on, all the designers are in the Philippines, so you're working on their time schedule. So you have to get your design request in by uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard or 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. The time changes when the time changes and they will do it and deliver it by the next morning. So depending on your time zone, it might be a very, very similar time zone to them. Uh, so I used them for six months and I thought it was great. My experience was really good but at that point I wanted to have I think I was at the level where I wanted my own designer that was working with me full-time so if you look at some of my more recent designs uh, so this is her this is her and this is actually a really good example right here this learn dash one is her this is her uh, a lot of my more recent ones are her. She has a different cleaner design style. This one is her as well. And she's done all kinds of various graphics. The reason I went full time is because I figured that I have more design needs and I want someone that will be intentional and spend time if I want something that is a little more well thought out. And so uh, this thumbnail right here, uh, it's a little bigger right there. I said to her, give me your best uh, Kevin David. Kevin David's another YouTuber that only has how to make money uh, webs uh, videos. Uh, give me your best Kevin David uh, thumbnail. So this is what she came up with. I thought it was fantastic. So where I found her, her, you can visit wpcrafter.com slash ojph online jobs Dot .ph is the website, but if you go to wpcrafter.com slash ojph, it's going to take you right here. And this is where you pay a monthly fee to be able to put job posts up for people that are in the Philippines. Now, you can hire a graphic designer anywhere that you want, but... You know, for me, the Design Pickle had all of their designers in the Philippines and I was happy. So I thought, let me go here and hire someone directly in the Philippines that can work with me on my design. So I came here and I opened up a job listing. I should make a full video on how to hire people on onlinejobs.ph because there's definitely some tips and tricks to it. Now, what happens here is you have to have an account. It's very affordable in order to post job postings. So right here, I have the premium one, but you have to get on this pro one at the very minimum, which is $69 per month, but you can get this 
and just keep it until you find someone to hire and then you don't have to keep it any longer. I keep it because I've been too lazy and haven't canceled my account. Uh, but there's a limit on how many uh, people you can contact per month based upon the plan that you're on. However, this middle one right here for $69 a month will be fine. So as long as when you get your account, you're ready to go by posting your jobs, you can have three job posts at a at one any one given time, you're going to be able to um, hire someone pretty quick. Now, what happens is you're going to need some filtering strategies because not everyone that is going to say uh, submit uh, their job, whatever you're requesting, they're going to apply for your job. Not everyone's going to be good. And so there's definitely some tips, tri tips and tricks to it. So my designer, I, um, uh, she's fantastic. I'm glad that I found her. Uh, to to be fair, Design Pickle was a lot faster in the work that they would crank out, and it was good enough. Uh, now with my own designer, I have to manage. I have to uh, make sure she has everything she needs. So for me, it kind of it's a little bit more work. But the output and the quality of the output is higher. So, uh, but it's uh, there is um, some some definite uh, work that's required on your part. So I just gave you a bunch of great ways to make have uh, to make fantastic images for everything that you do on the internet. It's not just your website and your featured images. It is so many things. It's things. It's every area. So remember, short pixel. Here's a deal on short pixel. I have the link down below. I used Keynote or PowerPoint and I used free images from Pexels. Then I leveled up, wasn't liking Canva, switched to Stencil. You can get Stencil right now for 49 bucks. And Stencil has that really cool thing that will mix in with your website. I leveled up to hire someone at Design Pickle, and then now I have someone full time at onlinejobs.ph. I'll have links to everything down below. Uh, and I hope that answers your question. A lot of people that have been around here a long time. I've seen the evolution of my YouTube thumbnails, evolution of all the graphics that I end up using uh, with everything that I'm doing. And, uh, you know, every business evolves, right? You got to start someplace. So start w w the way that I started and then involve, uh, evolve and level up to something much greater for yourself as the resources start appearing. Um, so anyways, that's all that I have for you in this video. Make sure you visit the links in the video description description box down below. All of them go to support the channel and help me be able to do what I'm doing. And so I really appreciate that. If you found value in me revealing how I evolved in this video, consider giving this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, click on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.